guys and welcome to week 16 of my pregnancy update for baby number two. I know it's been a while since I last did an update, my last update was at 12 weeks, I know it's been a month since my last, last update but hey ho these things happen and a lot has been going on that I will fill you in on. The first thing we went away for a week at uh, Essex to go stay with Stewie's mum which was really nice because we needed a nice break and Ava got to see her nanny and her granddad which was really nice and we enjoyed that and yeah basically we're moving oh, oh i say we're moving touch wood we're literally so close to moving um we're going away tomorrow up to scarborough in yorkshire to go look at a home hopefully um i'd say it's about 90 percent at the moment so it's ours but it's not if you know what i mean i can't say it's ours we're moving at the moment so we just gotta wait and see. But that's what's been going on and why I haven't done an update in like the past month since I was 12 weeks. A lot has happened since 12 weeks. I'm now officially having no more sickness. I might jinx myself here, but I'm not having sick. I haven't had sickness since I was about 13 weeks. I'd say that was the last time I was sick, which is brilliant because all I wanna do now is stuff my face like a fat pig. I'm not even joking. I just wanna eat food all day long, constantly. Um, which is really fun actually because I'd rather be <laughs> wanting loads of food and stuffing my face rather than literally being able to eat nothing because that's how it was like for me. I wasn't able to eat hardly anything at all. Um, first thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is baby size. The baby is now the size of an avocado. If you you know compare it to a fruit or vegetable, that's what the size of the baby is now. The size of an avocado, four and a half inches, I think it is. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, I'm definitely feeling more pregnant now. Um, like the little aches and pains that you get, um, not on your side of your hips. Like suddenly, if I stand up too quickly or first thing in the morning, um, I'll get like little, you know, horrible twinges that just feel uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I had that when I was pregnant with Ava and that's all to be expected. But yeah, one of my main problems at the moment I'd say is sleep. Because past five nights in a row, my sleep has not been good. Um, I'm just, I don't know, just tossing and turning and then getting really hot and bothered and then I can't get in a comfortable position. And it's not even like I'm huge, I'm not. It's just, I just feel really uncomfortable and having trouble sleeping at the moment. I don't know if it's just a million things running through my head, like thinking about moving and what's going on at the moment, I don't know. But sleep is not good for me. Another thing that's been going on, and I don't know if I told you about this, but I have had this from the beginning, since I found out I was pregnant, and I had it all the way from my pregnancy with Ava. And it is completely gross, it really is. And that is the fact I burp like a complete pig. I'm telling you, I wake up and the first thing I do in the morning is just rah, like <laughs> giant burp. It's gross. Like, and they're proper belches as well. And I'll be doing that throughout the day, just randomly walking along it. Rah, rah. It will come out of nowhere and they'll just be <laughs> really loud and violent. Like Stewie's just got used to them now and we've had like our friends come over and then I've just suddenly be like rah, and had this massive burp. But yeah, everyone's like, wow, that's impressive. And there's me sitting there like, that ain't nothing. Trust me, that was a little one. But yeah, so it's always fun to have lovely, gross barks going on all the time. But I'm going to talk to you guys about cravings. Because I have actually got some cravings now. And yeah, I'd say one craving is the same craving I had when I was pregnant with Ava. And that is cheese and onion crisp. Oh, I swear to God. Stewie went out earlier and he got me with the big bags and they say great to share they're not great to share they're mine <laughs> at the moment they're an offer for like two for one pound fifty and he gets me two and then they're gone by the end of the day um i've already had one already so i just got that pack left another one of my cravings is freezing cold water i think i've told you about that one before just really really cold water i'm drinking like a fish at the moment um and other than that is i absolutely love cherry tomatoes. I'm not even kidding. I will sit there and eat massive tubs of cherry tomatoes. I love them. Can't get enough of them. I've always been that way anyway. I've always liked cherry tomatoes but it gets to the point of I 
crave them like that. I, I really need cherry tomatoes. I have to run to the shop and go get myself some cherry tomatoes. So at least, you know, healthy things going on. Can't complain with that. Other than that, um, I say that's it really. No other cravings apart from cold water, cherry tomatoes, cheese onion crisps. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Now, another thing that I will talk to you guys about is it's a bit worrying for me because it's something that I didn't experience in my last pregnancy and I am waiting to go to the doctors, but trust me, doctors around this area are pants. They really are. I'm supposed to see my doctor at 16 weeks, and now 16 weeks now, but I have to wait till next Thursday before I see the doctor. Uh, oh, the midwife, sorry. Um, but yeah, basically, if I make an appointment to see the doctor, their answer is, oh, you're pregnant, expect it. And one of them, I don't like seeing the doctor when I'm pregnant. I prefer to see the midwife because I get my answers and, you know, they listen to me and they're in understanding. But I have been feeling very faint. And I know what you're saying, make sure you keep really dehydrated and you're drinking water. Trust me, I'm drinking my water, I'm eating, I am taking care of myself, I really am. But I do have just suddenly these really bad dizzy spells. Like I'll be out and then all of a sudden I'll be like, whoa. Seeing, you know, the little spots and everything. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm really hot. And then I'm just like, I need to sit down. And I sit down, have some water. Give me 10 minutes and then I'm fine to go again. But I do get that couple of times. Say about two to three times a day I get dizzy spells. Which I know is scary and that's why I'm going to the doctors. I'm going to get it all checked out and everything. And that's next week. I just want to see the midwife to discuss it with her and see what's going on. Hopefully it's nothing. It might just be a case of this is what's going on with this pregnancy. I don't know. But that's what's going on with me at the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm doing really well. Um, currently with movements, I'm getting little twinges. So I wouldn't really say they're movements, but I can feel something going on. Like all of a sudden, in, mostly in the evening, I'll be sitting down like on my laptop, watching vlogs and that, and then suddenly get a little ooh, ooh, and I can feel it. It just feels like muscle spasms at the moment. But I'm waiting for that official, ooh, that was definitely a movement, like 100% I felt that, that was a movement, I'm still waiting for that at the moment. But yeah guys, I'm going to leave it here for today, and then I'm now going to show you my bump for 16 weeks. And remember guys to hit that like button, and if you're new, why not subscribe and, you know, join me on this journey. But until that, next time, guys, doodle boop. Excuse my messy house, but my daughter has been playing, so the place does look a bit messy. But this is my bump. 16 weeks. That's it from the side. On the front. On the side. I will get my belly out for you. <laughs> That's how we do it.